Hello, Richie here. In this video, we're going to look at and play with four separate Peppa Pig toys. So let's first look at and play with Peppa Pig's first aid playgroup playset. Let's have a quick look at the inside of the playset box. It looks like it has all the typical features of a classroom for young learners. This is what we have when we opened up the box. We of course have Peppa Pig and her brother George. As you can see, they're happily standing by a desk and two chairs. And we have Madame Gazelle standing by her chalkboard. And if we return to the desk of George and Peppa, it looks like they've been having fun making lots of different things. Looking at Madame Gazelle's chalkboard, she's drawn a beautiful flower. And going over to the second desk, also with two chairs, we have Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. And looking at the activities on their desk, it looks like they've been mostly drawing and painting. Now the lesson has formally begun with Madame Gazelle by her chalkboard and her four pupils sitting at their desks. And there we have it, Peppa Pig's first day at playgroup playset. Next up is Peppa's garden shed playset. And here we have Peppa's garden shed playset. Let's have a quick look at the back of the box to see how much fun we can have. All right, let's open this box up. As you can see, there's a lot inside the box. All right, let's have a look at what we've got. We've got a scarecrow there, and he seems to have carrots growing around him. We have a Peppa Pig sign there, which is the handle for the top of the shed. I like that window at the top there as well. And through the glass doors, you can see tomatoes and other vegetables growing. Oh, there's a garden gnome. And there's Peppa Pig with a nice strawberry on her dress. Those carrots look big and healthy. And at the back there, we have a vegetable garden frame growing vegetables underneath. And finally, a watering can to water all of the plants. Let's put the handle on top of the shed so that we can carry it in future. If we have a quick look at the scarecrow, we can see it twists and turns when the wind is blowing. And if we look at the garden frame, it opens up at the top. One side, we're growing lettuces. And on the other side, we're growing strawberries. Now let's open up the shed doors and have a look inside the shed. Hmm, the back of the shed looks very green. I wonder why that is. Let's turn the shed around and see what's at the back. That looks like a nice apple tree and a picket fence. And I wonder what that little hole at the top is for. Can you guess? It's a finger hole. And when we pull, look what we have. We have a white picket fence in front of a lawn. And looking inside the shed, the shelves full of handy equipment. And at the side of the shed, we have a little door with garden tools and gloves hanging on it. Oh, and my grown-up's fingers can open it. And now let's return to the lawn area. Hmm, it looks like attachments fit here. Let's see what fits where. And let's give the lettuces and strawberries some sunlight so they can grow. Let's put the garden gnome in place. Now I've placed him at the back of the lawn, but if you look carefully, he could easily fit at the front of the lawn too. Now let's have fun putting the rest of the toys in place. There, everything's in place and Peppa's all set to go. Come on Peppa, let's give the plants some water. Good job Peppa! And that was a quick look at Peppa's garden shed playset. 
Next up is the Deluxe Peppa Pig Playhouse. Now let's have fun with the Deluxe Peppa Pig Playhouse. Let's have a look around this big box. This is what we've opened up so far. These are the instructions for how to open up the house. But let's have a quick look around the outside of the house. Well that was the front and the side of the house, let's have a quick look at the back too. Time to open it up. Ooh, that looks like there's a lot of goodies inside there. Let's get them all out and unwrapped. Let's have a look at what we've got. There's Pepper standing up top. Moving along, we have the bathroom floor. We have a big purple couch, two chairs, a staircase, a dining table, a bathtub with a shower head and taps, of course a TV set, a double bunk bed with pillows and of course Teddy, and a set of ladders that attach to the bunk beds. Wow, that's a lot of toys for us to play with. Let's open the house out. Oh, please excuse my silly arm. When opened out this way, you can see there's a little lawn and path. And when you look at the instructions when you open it out like this, this is a designated outdoor area. And when playing outside, you can put the table and chairs right here. And that looks like a lot of fun. But what we're going to do is close the house up and play inside. Right here, you can see where the staircase clips in place. Let's click that in place then. This is where the bathroom floor goes. Let's have a full look at the inside of the house. Going into the kitchen from the empty living room, we have an oven, a tap, a washing machine and a fridge. Spanning up top to the children's room, we can see that there's a train set on the floor. Lovely curtains, smashing pictures and a wonderful yellow lampshade. And then going into the bathroom, we have a toilet, a sink, a white lampshade, oh and uh, a rubber duck. Let's start playing in the children's room. Where else? Let's put those ladders on the bunk beds. And according to the picture on the box, they go right here. Here comes Pepper herself. And let's not forget our brother George. Pepper and George feel like the bunk bed's on the wrong place because they can't get up the ladder properly. Let's move them to see if we can get up the ladder better. Hmm, that's no better. The bunk beds are now over the train set. It's no good. We'll have to move them again. That's much better. Pepper and George can get to the ladders. And they've got full access to the train set. I think it's nap time for the both of them. Sleep well, little pigs. 
While Peppa and George are sleeping, let's move on to the living room. First the couch, and now the TV. Yes, that looks perfect. Now let's move on to the bathroom, where all we have to do is put the bathtub in place. By putting the dining table and chairs in the kitchen, we've now created a kitchen diner. Peppa and George have now woken up from their nap and are now in the kitchen diner. And here come Mummy and Daddy Pig. Mummy and Daddy Pig are going to relax in the living room while the kids eat their tea. That's a big pie kids, enjoy! And that was a quick look and play with the Deluxe Peppa Pig Playhouse. And now on to the final playset, Peppa Pig's Big Wheel. And here we are, the final playset, Peppa Pig's Big Wheel. Let's quickly turn the box around and have a look at the back. Wow, this big wheel has got lights and sounds. Right, let's open it up. And there we have it. I think it's time to turn the lights off. Let's press the red button. And let's spin the wheel. The set also has some stairs, a little tent, some balloons, and a test your strength bell machine. Let's bring along some of Peppa's friends so they can all play on the big wheel together. Hello Richard, Susie and Danny. Glad you could join your friend Peppa. Let's get Peppa on the big wheel first. Now Danny. Wow, Peppa, you're so high up there. Susie's turn. And finally it's Richard's turn to get on the wheel. Ready everyone, then let's go. And that was the fourth and final toy in this video of Peppa Pig's Big Wheel. Thanks for watching Harry Mori Fun and please look out for our other videos. Bye for now!